let's try this again. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tan and today we're going to be trying out the Flower Power Collection from BH Cosmetics. I purchased both the eyeshadow palette as well as the blush palette. I've already filmed this video but the lighting was horrendous and I'm going to start over. But I'm also going to insert a clip of the look I created just so you can see what I worked with as I tell you my experience as I create another look using the palettes. The Flower Power palette is a beautiful purple pink veined palette. It has a beautiful flower power print that reminds me of the 60s, the hippie era, all peace, love, and butterflies <laughs> type of situation. It has this nice tie-dye print, some daisies, and boss all over. And the inside has a quote that says, Groovy baby, peace, love, and tie-dye eyes. And inside you have this beautiful, beautiful arrangement of purple, pink, and bluish purple shades, along with warm neutral shades and some gold and bronze shimmers and it reminds me of the Norvina palette if you've ever seen that palette you'll know exactly what i'm talking about and i also purchased the flower power blush palette which includes the four matte blush shades inside it says peace love and far out flush can you dig it and it comes in the same packaging as eyeshadow palette except it's pink has the same tie-dye print and some daisies embossed around the border so it's a really beautiful palette and with the look I created yesterday, eyeshadows blended beautifully. It was such a beautiful look and you'll see up in the clip I'm showing. Yeah, we're gonna, just going to get started. I already did my face makeup. I primed my eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Camo in the lightest shade. The first shade we're going to go into for this look is the shade Foxy right here. So I'm going to go into the Refer 27 brush. It's one of the new brushes in their eye brush collection that recently launched in March, I believe. I'm going to apply that shade Foxy to my crease. It's a pretty matte, medium pink shade. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. The first time I used the palette, I noticed the eyeshadows were so easy to blend. They had really good pigmentation and build up really nicely as well. So this is just with one dip using a big fluffy brush. It's going to be a little bit more directly into the crease. And this brush is so great. Really good at blending out eyeshadows. So right now, I'm going to go into another brush, which is part of the Refer collection. And it's the 26 brush. It's like a super-sized pencil brush. <laughs> and I find that it works really well with applying eyeshadow directly into the crease. So the shade we're going to go into next, the shade that's right next door, which is Radical. Guys, I'm going to apply this directly into my crease. As I mentioned, this brush is like a jumbo, super-sized pencil brush. I really like to apply the eyeshadow directly into the crease with it, because since I have deep-set eyes, I sometimes have a little bit of trouble and notice that I have a bit of gapping with eyeshadows in that area. And this brush makes it really easy just to make sure that the placement is perfect. And it's also great for helping blend it out a little bit, just so that there isn't too much harshness. See that there, and then I'm just gonna fluff very lightly, and there isn't any harshness. Going back into the 27 brush just to lightly buff where we laid down the radical shade. Going back in with the 26 brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Love. Just gonna roll it in. The shadows are a bit powdery, but I haven't experienced any fallout. I didn't experience fallout yesterday, and I'm not experiencing it today. It's like a purple pink. I would say maybe it's like a fuchsia or a magenta shade. So as you can see, this brush is really great at applying eyeshadow to the outer B area too. And since it's larger, it allows you to deposit color right onto the lid. I'm going to go into the Ruffer 28 Flash Shader Brush, which is also part of that new collection from Ruffer. And I'm going to go into the shade Daisy. We know shimmers are easy to work with, but mattes are sometimes not. So let's see how good this is. Wow. Really good pigmentation. Look at that. Kind of looks similar to the look I created, except I used a shimmer on my inner corner. But this is really pretty. And this brush makes it so easy. This palette has been effortless to work with. And considering it costs only $12, it's definitely a steal. I think I'm going to apply this shade, Dream. It's like a very cool tone, bluish purple but it's deeper than daisy it's kind of like a periwinkle shade 
So I'm gonna apply that right to the center. I like how the mattes layer nicely on top of each other, which is not always the case with some matte eyeshadows. All I did was swipe the brush across the pan. And I'm gonna tap off a little bit. It's a little bit of fallout, which is really good, but I, you know, I haven't experienced fallout with these in the palettes. Since we put the dream shade right in the middle, I think I'm gonna have to build up the love shade that's on the outer V part of my eye. I'm going in with the same brush into the love shade. I'm gonna swipe and tap off any excess. It's, you can tell it's there. And then I'm gonna flip the brush to the clean side just to kind of feather in that dream shade. I'm cleaning off the flat shader brush and now I'm gonna apply the daisy shade again just to build it up so you can't really see it. Even more on the lid, in the corner of my lid. Going into that love shade and I'm just gonna reinforce that outer V shape that we got. I'm gonna go into the fluffy brush just to blend out the edge. Make sure it looks diffused. And now we're gonna go back into the palette and we're gonna go into the shade Foxy again, which was the first shade we applied. And I'm just going to apply that there. Boogie on my lower lash line. It's a plum shade. I'm just gonna apply that to my lower lash line using the 26 brush. My eyes look a little bit like cotton candy and I'm not hating it. Oh, I would love to know. What is your favorite flavor of cotton candy? And do you say cotton or cotton? I say cotton. I don't know why. So I also have this other brush from the Ruffer line. It's the 29 brush. I'm going to go back into that boogie shade and I'm going to like stamp the brush right into the shade. I'm just going to go straight into the, the lash line just to help define it. I know they say it's not good to put like dark liner on your lower lash line because it ages you, but I Yes, I want to look like the Crypt Keeper. And I'm just going to buff that in just to help diffuse it so it's not too harsh. I think I'm just going to go into the chill shade, which is this matte, creamy, light, very light peachy shade. And I'm going to apply that into the inner corner as a matte inner corner highlight just to keep this look completely matte. And I'm going to take that shade too and apply it right under my brow bone. So far, so good. Still impressed with this palette. I have yet to use the bronzy and goldy shades or even more of the mattes, but I'm glad I used about how many shades did I use today? I used six eyeshadows for this look. So so pretty. I keep looking at it like there's a mirror, but there's no mirror. I'm gonna speed up applying my mascara and eyeliner and then we're gonna go into the blush palette. So here's the look up close with mascara applied. So, so pretty. As you know, there's four blush shades in here and they're all matte shades. So Chill Out and Wicked seem to be blushes that will work well with fair, light, and medium skin tones. Whereas the Psychedelic and Dynamite will work well for light, medium, medium, deep skin tones. I'm not sure if it will work well with deeper richer skin tones. It depends on how much of these shades are layered up on the deeper skin tones. What I like to do with these palettes is to mix all the shades together, mix certain shades together depending on the look I'm going for, which is what I'm going to do today. So since my eyes are like like purple and bluish, probably want a little bit of a cool tone blush. What I'm going to do is mix these two shades together, Wicked and Dynamite, that will work well. I have both the shades mixed and I'm just gonna tap off the excess. The blushes are pigmented and blendable, which is great. The blush and eyeshadow palettes cost $12 each. I'm impressed with this blush palette. I'm really pleased with this. The surprising thing about this palette was the size of the pans. They're so tiny. They're actually the size of a dime. I will insert a picture of a dime actually in one of the pans just so you can see. I think for $12, 16 eyeshadows, that's less than a dollar for each eyeshadow. And from the eyeshadows that I've tried, I've tried about like in total 10 so far, about 10. It's a pretty good deal. The mattes are blendable. They're pigmented and not chalky at all, at least from the ones I've tried. I'm very pleased with the two looks that I created with these palettes. Um, I'm interested in seeing how the purple shimmers work out on the eye. They swatched really nicely, but they seem kind of light, but of course, you had to really see how they look on the eye just to really gauge how well they really work and how well they really show up. I also like that this palette has the Norvina vibe going on. And if you know the Norvina palette um, from Anastasia, 
it costs in around it's in the $40 range and this palette is only $12 that palette probably comes with 12 shades this one comes with 16 you get the same vibe it's not a perfect dupe but you get the vibe of the palette which is great and the packaging is really cute it doesn't have a mirror which might be a caveat i didn't mention before but these products are vegan sleeping bunny certified and they have extra clean ingredients i hope you enjoyed this video enjoyed the look as well as me sharing my thoughts about the rougher brushes from their newest collection if you really enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more from me please consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you are taking care of yourself and being kind to yourself. Bye.